The European Parliament elections are approaching. A big change this year is that the party groups nominate candidates for the next president of the Commission. Stephen Clark is in charge of coordinating the Parliament's campaign. He explains the scheme. Yeah, we've basically offered an implicit deal to the electorate which is, this is your choice, now go ahead and choose, and you're going to end up with one of these people. On the street, some people welcome the changes. Yeah, I think it's a good idea because then you have a face uh, so you can recognize someone. And instead of you, there's a lot of unknown people and you don't know, so that's why they need to pick a person. So that's who represents us. And yeah, I think that's quite a good idea to do so. Yeah. Advocates say the upfront nomination is a step towards a more democratic process. Peter von Kohl has been a journalist in the EU for 27 years and believes it will benefit voters. It gives an indication um, to the voters that there not only is a difference between the uh, positions of the candidates, but also in which way the um, voters feel um, their interests are taken care of. The changes will be most felt during the campaign period, in which the nominees will also play a role. Von Kohl compares it to the American presidential campaign. The American way uh, of having a leading figure to promote the local candidates, so to speak, in this case the national candidates, um, will be a part of the game. But people on the street are more ambivalent about Americanizing the system. Um. The thought is to make it more like a presidential election. Do you think that will interest you more now that it is like that? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I think uh, that uh, that it can be interesting that uh, people can vote directly, you know. And uh... do you think it would appeal more to you or people in general if it was more like an American presidential election with faces like that that you could put to it? Don't people in America get really sick and tired of the presidential elections? I, I, I don't know. There are no guarantees on what this nomination process means, but Stephen Clark is optimistic about the campaign bringing Europeans together. Now, our hope is, and we believe at least we have encouragement in this hope, that people will start to perceive this as a European process in a way that they haven't done before. Well, I, I guess, you know, in the US uh, there is, even though there are also differences between states, uh, the cultural differences between uh, regions in Europe is still not overcome to the same extent that you, you do in the US. So it's, I, I guess, well, it, maybe 20, 30 years from now, 